was I talking about? Oh yeah. Why did we ever let monarchies be a thing? First, let me give a quick rundown for anyone that did not pay attention in history class. A monarchy is a form of government in where a person rules over a domain with absolute power until they die. After that, a pre-selected heir takes over power and the cycle just continues forever. It's essentially a hereditary dictatorship where the person in power insists that they hold the cards because God said they could. At least with dictators, you know what's up. They did some conniving and some wartime conquering, maybe a little bit of inner circle murdering. How the hell did these people believe that Jesus personally granted power to these deplorable psychopaths? Now, before some know-it-all historian goes on some sort of spiel that sounds like, um, well actually, it was a bit more nuanced than that. Not only did most royals gain their power through conquests, but additionally affirmed their reputations from these conquests. Simply saying all made the claim God put them in power is a huge overgeneralization and- SHUT THE FUCK UP! This is not History Channel, this is my channel, which has zero academic accreditation. Don't take this seriously. If you want to feel like a smartass about your history knowledge, go to Reddit or some shit. People lived under these monarchies for a really long time. Of course, eventually some folks got tired of some disconnected asshole telling them what to do. These people were extremely disconnected. When France was going through a famine in the late 18th century, and the peasants simply wanted more food, Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake. Essentially the royal equivalent of, Vous êtes tous fauchés, je suis debout. When the masses got wind of this, they basically just said, you know what, fuck this bitch and her powdered wig husband, and they started beheading fuckers like crazy. Personally, I think that was a bit too much. I would have just forced them all to drink a can of Mountain Dew Code Red. That would have gotten the job done just as well, and you wouldn't have to worry about a bunch of gore being all over the place. I think it's pretty freaking wild that monarchies still exist today. However, very few countries still have the traditional setup where the majority of power is concentrated into one person. The most famous example I can think of is Saudi Arabia. The majority of monarchies that remain today are mostly ceremonial in nature. It doesn't sound too remarkable until you realize that their royal lifestyle is funded by taxpayers. These people receive public funding just to exist, and yet I'm told being paid for doing nothing isn't based in reality. What the fuck? What the What the fuck is this then, mom? For people that don't do anything, these sons of bitches sure look loaded. These are publicly funded lifestyles we're talking about here. I hate to say this because I'm pretty sure a small percentage of my subscribers are from the commonwealth, but I hope you all know that you or your parents likely paid for Prince Andrew's escapades with good old Jeffrey. Yeah, I bet that makes you all feel sick to your stomach, doesn't it? I do get that they have certain tasks, like give speeches to the nation for certain events or host certain events, but these aren't fucking jobs. I had to give a speech in front of my school as part of the Tropicana speech program. You don't see me living in fucking Buckingham Palace. And of course these people host parties. They're rich. That's what rich people do. They host parties. That's not even a job. That's just being the popular person at school. Monarchies are dumb. Always have been, always will be. And I likely missed something or got something wrong. I know there's no evidence that Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake. And I'm also aware that modern day royals probably do more than just talk on camera and molest children. But this is not the History Channel. This is bottom of the barrel content from a YouTube page with just over 100 subscribers. I don't think any of you should expect high quality. Until then, I hope anyone that lives in a country without a monarch remembers to sleep soundly at night knowing that your tax money goes to something cool like war crime and not some old hag whose parents were second cousins. By the way, Epstein did not kill himself.